Welcome to Latin Nation, representing your generation from coast to coast. I'm your host, Humberto Guida, and we're kicking today's show off with actor Kevin Alejandro, whose appearances on True Blood, Weeds, and Southland has given the actor quite the following among the dedicated fans of those shows. However, mainstream popularity has somewhat eluded the prolific actor, that is until now. In the CBS new police drama, Golden Boy, Kevin is positioned to catapult from wall-like genre actor you kind of recognize to legitimate household name. Now up next, the season actor sits down to tell us how he's handling more mainstream recognition while also continuing to give love back to the fans of the cult hits that launched him. This is Kevin Alejandro. Brought to you by State Farm. For auto, home, life, and banking, get to a better state. Whether it's on cable favorites such as Weeds, Southland, or True Blood, you've most likely run across Kevin Alejandro's face more than once. However, it's CBS's gritty new crime drama, Golden Boy, that might turn this leading actor into a household name. My name is Kevin Alejandro, and I play the character of Christian Arroyo in CBS's Golden Boy. I'm part of this now, front and center. It's Owen's case. Me and Owen. <laughs> Sounds like you hooked into a prolific hit, man. Promotions are coming up. It's been an especially bad day. If anyone's getting a promotion, it's No, it's me! My character, he is um, a kid from the streets, and he is the alpha male, the alpha dog, the, you know, number one detective in this particular precinct, the 39th precinct. That being said, a young kid comes in, played by Theo James, William Walter Clark is his character's name. He reminds Arroyo of himself 10 years earlier and sees the ambition and sees the drive and uh, refuses to let that kid beat him. So you step aside or I will steamroll you. I'll reach into my old bag of tricks and pull out a recording of you stealing money. And you can't have that, not with IA on your ass. I think uh, the reason this genre is so uh, so successful in, in, in the industry and we're in, in society these days because crime never ends. And I think people have their own little fantasy about solving a crime. And this is their opportunity to solve the crime in front of them before the hour is up. Don's been working the case for 12 years. He's got no career left. I got years to go. While fans of Golden Boy enjoy piecing together the clues in the show's week-to-week -week mysteries, Kevin invests his time away from the crime scene into solving a very real-life entertainment mystery. How to make it in new media. Hey guys, it's Kevin Alejandro, and I'm here to talk about our web series, The Keepers. We have several friends who have put up their own web series. It was their process that they went through and how much fun they had doing it and how they felt like legitimate filmmakers doing it. It inspired us to want to do the same. It's called The Keepers. It's a dark comedy about uh, these two special agents who are uh, trying to deal with a bunch of villains, super villains are coming to take over the world. And some of them are real villains with real powers and some of them are just people posing as villains. The big guys are overworked. They have too many super villains to contend with and they need us for all of the little up and comers that are popping out of the woodwork these days. And I happen to be a superhero so when things get bad, they call me to come in and take care of the villain. How do we contact him? Is it a signal in the sky? It's 2013, boys. He has a cell phone. Contact him if and only if the job becomes too big. I'm producing and directing. I'm also starring in it. If you like to kick ass and Rain Wilson's super, that's what you're gonna get with a little bit of Men in Black the web series world, it's untraveled territory right now. There's no, there's no real idea of how to make it work properly, but I think in the next couple of years, it might actually even, you know, replace the television. I'm on it. And I want to be part of that movement. We want to be there when it's time to figure out the next step and then the evolution of filmmaking, and that's what we're trying to be a part of. 